hey guys, welcome back to part three of this coding Minecraft tutorial series. Um, this, is, this is where we left off last time. And uh, yeah, so in this video, we're just gonna code the detection, the block detections. We're gonna improve some of that, and then I'll show you some of the glitches uh, afterward. So just before getting started, I just wanna say that you can see up on the screen right now that only some of my viewers are actually subscribed to me. So if you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button if you already haven't as um, if you want more content like this so yeah and guys if you want to check out the code for this video and for this minecraft series i'm going to be updating it every tutorial um and if you guys want to check it out you can always see the link in the description below it's a github file it's like a, i made a report i made a repository so you can check that out and you can you know just edit some code if you want if you don't like some stuff that i did and yeah yeah let's get started so the first glitch that I want to show you is um, like you know the side detection collision system that I uh, told you that I that I coded last time with you guys. So basically, like right now I'm actually not standing on that block, but I still went up. Okay, and the reason why is because um, I'll just show this up on the screen. I think it's uh, let's go to Google. I'll do 3.js coordinate system. Um, yeah, and then I'll just get this thing out. Uh, yeah, yeah. So basically, what happens is, 3.js, um, it like the coordinate system. It doesn't start. So each of these blocks, their x and y and z coordinate, it's actually in the middle of the block. Okay. So I'm st right now. I'm standing on like 2.5 uh, pixels above uh, above this block because the block's width is um, and depth and height is five pixels. So right now I'm standing 2.5 pixels uh, above the. Um, coordinate of this block because the coordinate of each of these blocks is actually in the middle of each block okay and I'll show you why sorry I'll, I'll prove it I'll prove it to you um, I have to copy this over here and I'll just paste it over here okay so you can see oh okay fall over the world okay so um where did it go yeah over here right over here it, it's like a it's like an axis helper thingy uh, you can see that the middle is actually over there okay it's in the center of this block it's not in, in the corners okay so that was my mistake sorry uh, I thought that the corners were like the core like one of the corners where the uh, where the coordinate of the of each block was but it's actually right in the middle which I, that actually makes it easier for us to work with okay oh wait what what I just um, yeah so right so I'm just gonna remove this access helper thingy uh, I'll just comment it out and um, the second glitch is so that was the first one the second one is uh let's say there's bl there are blocks above us let's say we're inside a cave okay so later in this series we're gonna make like caves and stuff if I fall down and there's a block above me I just teleport above the block okay so if I just fall down and I just go beneath the block I pretty much just teleport like above the block okay so I'll show you that once more I'm falling down if I go beneath the block I go above it okay I certainly go above it okay so we have to fix all these uh, it's gonna be quite easy we're also gonna uh, code side detection like I said we were going to uh, that's quite important and yeah let's get started so all right um, we have quite a lot of work to do so let's get started the first thing I just want to improve this thing so this is actually plus 2.5 and camera dot x blah blah, blah minus 2.5 and same with this plus 2.5 and minus 2.5 okay and um, and then maybe over here I'm just gonna improve this so and uh, camera dot pos maybe um, yeah so now if we actually do this you can see it's much smoother and like if we go right above a block we actually go above it okay so like before if we still stood over here we would actually be on top of that block so yeah anyways um, that was that and then um, and guys another thing that I want to improve is um, the the vertical detection system so over here I'm just gonna say if it's smaller or equal to um, blocks are blah 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 plus 2.5 and I'm gonna explain why I wrote this and then camera dot position dot y should be bigger or equal to um, blocks i dot y minus 2.5 okay so the way the reason why I did this is um, so right now I'm standing on a block 
And um, after this, I also want to say plus 2.5, okay? So the reason why I did this is so, yeah, so like right now, I'm I'm actually standing on top of a block. So before I wasn't actually standing on uh, on top of, oh, what, what just happened? Um, that was weird. Uh, I just went down through a block. Anyways, um, yeah, so right now I'm actually standing on top of a block and you can see that, uh, um, what is it called? Yeah, so right now I'm actually standing on a top of a block. Before I was actually like through the block. I was actually inside the block, but now I'm actually standing on top of the block. And now it's much smoother, like the collision detection and everything. And there's also auto jump, and this auto jump is much smoother. So yeah, that's quite good. And now we also have to fix this thing where you go under block. Oh, okay, that's all we fixed. Okay, nice. <laughs> um, all right, so after that, oh. Okay, that was weird. Okay, so that's what we're gonna fix. You see, you saw that problem right over there? We're gonna fix that right now, okay? So, right now we're just gonna put some side detection algorithm. We're just gonna copy this and paste it over here. Just indent this part over here. And then I'm gonna remove this. And I'm gonna say, if um, camera the position of Y is equal to blocks I dot Y minus 2.5 okay so this side detection right I'm I'm the player and my the camera's position is actually at the bottom like it's on top of that block right over there and I want to see if I collide with this block how do I do that I have to check if my if the camera's Y position is equal to this blocks Y position minus 2.5 okay because the Y position is over there in the middle minus 2.5 which is over there okay so I have to check that and I wrote that right over there and now I can just do uh, controls dot move forward minus one times moving speed so like I, I just want to go the other way now so I go forward when I hit it then I go the other way um, and then I just have to copy all this again oh wait from the for loop I'm just gonna paste it over here three more times and uh, I'm just gonna change some stuff so this is move right, so I'm going to change this into a move right. And um, minus one times moving speed. It's going to change to just moving speed because that's minus one already. So if it has to be like, if that's negative, this has to be positive. If that's positive, this has to be negative. Okay. And then this is move forward, uh, positive moving speed. And then that's move right. So we have to change this to a move right. Uh, negative moving speed. Okay, so now let's check if this works Yeah, perfect. So you can see there's no auto jump right now, but if you want um, You know, what? I'm actually just gonna quickly code um, Like you can you can toggle between auto jump or not. So well, I'm also gonna code that soon like right now um, But yeah, so this works. It's pretty good uh, Yeah Yeah, all right, okay, and um, yeah, okay, that's good and um, yeah, let's make this toggle thingy. So I'm gonna have it over here. There's gonna be like a yes or no. Um, how do we do this? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna tab all of these and I'm gonna say if, okay, for all of them. So if um, if auto jump is equal to false, so if it's if it's off, I'm just gonna and the last one. Okay, yeah. So if auto jump is equal to false, then do all this, okay? But what do you actually create an auto jump variable? So auto jump is equal to false, is equal to true, okay? So right now, if we go like this, then we'll see some, we'll see auto jump um, is actually um, happening. So it's actually auto jumping. The player is jumping automatically. But then, if we set this thing to true, I mean to false, then you can see that there's no auto jump okay you have to actually jump manually 
Uh, you have to click the you have to click the space bar. So yeah. So I'm gonna set this back to true. And now uh, we have to create like a toggle system over there. Uh, I think I'm just gonna create two buttons or something. Um, button. Uh, let's say the inner HTML will be. Uh, poof. I don't know. <laughs> Um, auto jump. Yeah, auto jump. Right now it's off. Sorry, it's on. Yeah. And then on click, toggle, toggle, auto jump. Okay, so, so this is just like some HTML basic stuff. This is button that you created, and this is what the button will say auto jump on. And then when we click the button, it should say auto jump off. And then when we click it again, it should say auto jump on. Okay. And on click, is a method that if you click it, it's gonna run this function, okay? And we have to create the function, toggle auto jump. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste it over here. Function toggle jump. And now, um, you know what, I'm, I'm actually gonna put this auto jump variable over here. So we can just see it, things easier. Um, if auto jump, equals to true then you want to make auto jump equal to false and if it's equal to false which is every other um, possibility then you want to make auto jump equal to true and now you also have to do document dot get get element get element by id uh, and then we, we also have to set this ID uh, where to go yeah here so ID is equal to uh, BTN uh, sorry uh, auto jump button okay so auto jump button uh, document of get element by ID blah is equal to inner sorry dot inner HTML is equal to so now we set it to false so auto jump off Okay, but then if we set it to true and auto jump on. Okay, so now we should see a button over there. You can see it over there. Uh, but I'm actually gonna make it bigger and on the canvas. So um, how do we do this? We just have to say, I'm just gonna copy this and this is some CSS. So this is quite cool. In this tutorial, we're using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript like almost equally. So I'm gonna say position absolute, and this will make it like go at the top of everything. And um, left, let's say, I don't know, 20 pixels, and top also 20 pixels. And I'm gonna make a H2 out of this, so the font size is bigger. Yeah, just like that. You can see auto jump is on right now. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, but the moment we switch this to off, we can see it's off. And um, <laughs> we still have to make this auto jump um, thing have H2. So we have to say H2 and H2, H2 and, and H2. Okay, so this, this, this is like very basic HTML syntax. H2 is just like the second biggest header. The first one is obviously H1, and there's and it's out of six, so it's H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and then H6, and then you can't do H7 because H6 is the biggest, sorry, the smallest. Um, and yeah, so so now if we go like this, there's auto jump which is on, and now if we yeah, auto jump is off. Perfect. Wow. All right, guys. So um, thanks for watching. Um, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something out of it. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.